girls are getting their rest because we're getting ready to go on our big camping trip. We're leaving in two days, but you guys will be seeing this video on Monday. We won't even be home. We're going to give you guys some tips and show you some of the things that we make sure to have when we take our dogs camping. The most important thing, dog tags. Make sure you have dog tags that have your name and phone number on them. Make sure they're attached to your dog. There's Shiloh's. Even better than dog tags, well, maybe not better, but something you should also have along with your dog tags is microchips. Um, because if they do get loose from you and their collar breaks, at least they have their microchip. Shiloh and Shelby are both microchipped with the Home Again microchip. <gasps> Big yawn. Let's show them what else we take when we go camping. Sound like fun? Sounds like fun. It's a girl. It's a all right, and here is my messy table of stuff with all the camping things. We got short leashes, because I always take short leashes along with the retractable leashes. I use the retractable leashes more in the, like, in the woods when we're out hiking without a lot of people. The short leashes are nice for when we're going in and out of the car, or when we're just going out to let them go to the bathroom, things like that. Um, food. Gotta have food, right? Gotta have food while camping. We don't want to starve. Um, Shiloh and Shelby are actually on two different kinds of hard food right now. Shiloh gets the beef and ocean fish formula of Canada Day, where Shelby just gets the all life stages of Canada Day. Um, sometimes when camping, my dogs tend to not want to eat their hard food as much as they should, right? You kind of get a little finicky sometimes. So I always bring a couple cans of canned food. Um, this is Wellness, the white fish and sweet potato, and this is the Canada beef and ocean fish formula. Oh, I know canned food, huh? Um, if they decide that they're gonna be finicky and not wanna eat, I just mix a little bit. Usually about a quarter of the can to two cups of food is what I give to my girls. Um, and I'll mix it together and that'll help them out, help them eat. <laughs> Bowls. Don't forget bowls. We have bowls for food. We have bowls for water. Water. Where we're going, we have running water, so we don't really have to worry about it. Um, for Shiloh and Shelby, I always like to bring them something to eat while they're out outside of the camper. Um, something to chew on. And they usually don't get bones like this unless they're outside, because these are the ones that have the sticky stuff. So I just usually grab them a couple of bones, along with some raw hides. Um, these are the rawhides with flaxseed. Um, and Shiloh and Shelby have both eaten these before and they don't upset their stomach. Um, I don't advise, if you're going camping, don't get something that your dog has never had before. Because some dogs tend to stress out a little bit when camping and you don't want to give them something that's going to upset their belly. So if they've never had the bones before, if they've never had the canned food before, I don't advise giving it to them. Um, other things we take when we go camping? Ferminator. Because, you know, you got to have a Ferminator. you got to brush the dogs, otherwise we're going to have hair everywhere. Um, backpacks. Got to have dog backpacks. Oops, I was upside down. Um, this is Shelby's backpack, Shiloh's backpack. These are awesome. You can put them right in the backpack. They're those collapsible bowls for water. Um, we usually keep them with us when we're out hiking on the trail. That way we have something to put water in for the dogs. We have two of them, one for each dog. We don't necessarily always use two of them, um, but we have two of them just in case. That way, you know, you can put a bottle of water, on it, one on each side of their backpacks, and you have water for you, you have water for your dogs. I have a couple containers like these. This is my leash container. All of these leashes, the brush, and one bag of these go into this container. And also, which I have to go get more, or find the rest of them, poop bags, because we are responsible pet owners. This actually belongs in that container. Um, this container here has some treats, and I always take the dog's tie outs. This, um, I have to get the other one out of the ground from outside and get their 15 foot leashes. We take these to the campgrounds, put them in the ground so that when the dogs are not in the camper and we're out by the fire, they have a place to, to be tied up so they're not running around like crazy puppies because we don't ever let them off leash. We're more responsible than that. Um, but anyway, this container is the one that I keep the, the steaks, 
the tie-out leashes, usually these bowls, the outdoor bones, and I usually put a bag of treats in there, which reminds me I need to find my bag of treats for the dogs. So yeah, that's pretty much all. I'm sure there's probably some other things that I'm forgetting to list. Hopefully not forgetting, because, you know, like I said, by the time you guys see this, we'll be up north already. Um, as with any outdoor activity, um, make sure to keep your dogs hydrated. Make sure to keep them cool. Don't, if you think they're getting too stressed out, you know, just take it easy. Don't walk as far, or if you start walking and they get tired, slow down a little bit. You know, they're, they're just like us. They get tired and sore after a while, too. And Camping can be stressful on some dogs. Um, hi, are you going to get in my face? Yeah, you are. Um, some dogs don't do well with it, and some dogs do. Shiloh and Shelby do really well camping. They really enjoy it. So, thanks for watching, you guys. There's my shy. Hopefully we'll have a lot of really cool, fun video that we'll have taken while we were up north camping. Some new Wordless Wednesday videos, some waterfall videos, things like that. And uh, I think that's it. Don't cry. We really are going to go camping, I promise. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll hopefully see you on Wednesday. <laughs> we're coming home late Monday night, so I'll have a lot of video footage to go through. Hopefully I'll have a wordless Wednesday video. If not, I'll at least do an update video for you guys. Or you can always watch our um, our vlog channel, which is youtube.com slash without the snow dogs. Oh, I know. Which, yes, even though it's called without the snow dogs, Shiloh and Shelby are on there quite a bit. Um, but you can always watch on there because there'll be a lot of update videos on there too. Again, not until we get back from camping though. All right, I'm going to let these two get some rest. I'm going to pack up all that dog stuff you saw on the table. And we'll see you when we see you. Thanks for watching. Now I just have to figure out a place to hang them up. So anyway, that's Fan Friday for today. Like I said, we are actually not even...